Hey guys, it's Trevor Daly. So today I have a tip that is gonna help you with your export settings and the export dialog box. Yesterday we talked about the quality slider. Today we're gonna get into another section that I think you're gonna find very valuable. So let's jump right into it guys. Uh, if I go to file and I go to export, let's just say I have some settings here that I use often. Okay, let's just say for example that I'm constantly posting photos to my Facebook page. And so every day I'm, I'm jumping in there and I'm posting photos and I wanna make sure that I'm using the same good quality settings for Facebook, but I can't remember what they were. And so I don't wanna to have to remember it every time. So guys, what you can do is you can come in here and you can set the settings. You can go in there, let's change your quality slider down. You know, it doesn't need to be at 100. Remember we talked about that yesterday. Take your long edge, put it at 2048, which is what Facebook recommends. So let's just say I have everything dialed in. I know exactly I want it to go to my desktop because I want to post it and then just delete it. So I want to be able to find the file quickly. You know, again, these are just my own personal settings. But I, I once I've dialed that in, I come over here, I say add, and I can add that as a new preset. So let's just say I call it my Facebook post preset. I hit create. And right down here, it drops it in this list. Now, you probably don't have these on your computer because these are ones that I've made myself, um, whether it be for Instagram, Facebook, raw files, etc. cetera. Um, but you can customize this list, make your own, remove. You know, I don't need that anymore. Um, honestly, these settings by Lightroom up here are useless. Uh, so don't worry about those, but create your own. So for example, one of them I have is Instagram. And the way I use the Instagram one is that I have it go right into a Dropbox folder in Instagram. I have it sized to 1080, which is what Instagram likes. And you know, I don't need my quality slider quite as high. And here's the second part of this tip, you guys, it's so valuable. Let's just say I'm going through, I'm editing some photos and I say, oh, I really like this image, okay? So let's say I'm looking at it and I go, oh, this would be great for Instagram. Well, all I have to do is come up here and I don't even have to go to my export box. I go down one more and it says export with preset, Instagram, Dropbox, hit it. It automatically, see, I've already sent it over there. So I'm just gonna hit over, right? I've already sent it, but I will automatically send it right into my Instagram folder in Dropbox and I can go access it from my phone within a few seconds and post it right to Instagram. So again, guys, take this, go into your export box, pick some settings that you use often, Facebook, Instagram, uh, your favorite photos, maybe like you have a portfolio of all your favorite images that you've ever done. Uh, you know, and have that saved to a Google Drive or Dropbox. Maybe you have a preset that you use for all your images you're exporting for your clients. Save that so you don't have to remember all those settings every time. So come up with your own presets and use this because it's a very, very valuable tool that we have right here in Lightroom. So take advantage of it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.